Welcome back, elementary educators. In this screencast, we look at one of the biggest results in all of geometry. If you have a triangle, three angle measures, what do they add up to? And it's one of those things that you know that you know that you know, but you may not know why you know it. So let's take a look if we can. Uh, you have some triangle and you want to know what the three angle measures add to without having to find this or find this or find this. And so one of the things that I want to keep in mind is that there's a line that contains that side and there's a line that contains that side and there's a line that contains that side, right? Nothing fancy. Uh, let's, let's do a little bit of vocabulary. Uh, we say that this angle and this angle are what we call supplementary angles because they add to 180 degrees. Similarly, these are supplementary. Similarly, these are supplementary. Or for that matter, these are supplementary. Uh, so nothing fancy there. Uh, we also argue that these angles are what we call vertical angles. Uh, they're vertical angles because two lines form and these are across from each other. Uh, also, these are vertical angles. They're across from each other. So it's just a little bit of vocabulary that might help us out as we go. We'll see. Uh, so back to the picture. I want to do it without the annotations. So you've got this triangle and you want to know what the three angles add up to. You want to know what the red angle plus the blue angle plus the green angle add up to. And the way we do this is we draw a purple line through one of the vertices of the triangle. And it's not just any purple line. This purple line is parallel to the base. It's parallel to this black line. And once the purple line is parallel to the black line, then some really interesting things happen. This red angle also happens to pop up here. And this green angle also happens to pop up here. That only happens if the purple line is drawn parallel to this base, because then the red angles are what we call alternate interior angles, opposite sides of the transversal, but trapped between the parallel lines. Similarly, the green angles are alternate interior angles. This is on the right side of the transversal. This is on the left side of the transversal and they're trapped between the parallel lines. And we know in the geometry that we teach to children that alternate interior angles are congruent. Well, what's the curious result here? The curious result is that red plus blue plus green, well, they all lie on a line. And since these three angles all add up to this line, these three angles add up to 180 degrees their measures add up to 180 degrees, which means that red plus blue plus green is 180 degrees. And that's why we say that the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, always. No matter how you draw the triangle, you can make one of them the base. You can draw a parallel line to that base through the other vertex. And alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Those three add up to 180 and we're done. So the most important result that we have is that the sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. And it exists for a reason. It didn't just happen. We didn't just decide that that's the case. It is 100% true, no matter what, in our geometry. Hope that's helpful. Uh, the other screencast is going to take that result and expand it to quadrilaterals and pentagons and hexagons. And you'll see how that happens when you click play.